hi guys welcome to my youtube channel guys in this video i am going to tell you how to uh, apply okay in iit bombay for ma by research program so guys in this video you will see you will learn uh, step by step process how to uh, apply for uh, ma by research program and this video is for only humanities and social science students so guys already i have opened this page iit bombay i have uh, i have put this term on google browser so just you have to click on this and this is the home page of iit bombay and you have to go to this section academic section and then you will you will see look related navigation you will see admission so this is the main admission uh, page where you will see all pg program okay all pg program you can see this and look one interesting information i want to tell you mphil program no admission from academic year 2020-23 so guys central government of india uh had informed in uh, uh, 2021 that from the next season means from this year there will be no admission uh, for mphil program so from 2022 mphil is a invalid program okay so instead of that several institutes start this program okay MA is by research program, MA by uh, research program. Okay, so I want to show you this program how to apply. Okay, you can see this. Okay, admission for masters, uh, master of arts by research program that is APRES for the academic year 2022-23. So these are the information you can see all this information. If you want to know about the sanction strength, you will check that. I will make a different video about all this information just i want to show you how to apply okay you will see this iit bombay's portal for administrative and academic activities okay so you have to you have to go to this uh, part ma by research program this part ma by research program okay so you have to click on this and you will get this interface okay ma by research okay start date uh, uh 30 Ma, uh, I think uh, 30 March. Okay, so uh, this institute is ac 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 accepting application from uh, 30 March. Okay, so today is 1st April. So you have very good enough time till 2000, uh, uh, 27th uh, April. Okay, so you can apply. So these are the important documents during your application. You can see this. You can read this carefully. These are the important uh, document uh, documents that required for the application process photo signature okay uh, scan copy of photo of your photo signature marks it for the last semester so it means that if you are in the final year student you are eligible okay or degree certificate if you have degree certificate if you have a last semester mark sheet so you are eligible uh, caste, uh, caste certificates if you are from this any caste okay so EWS category physical disability certificate sponsor certificate everything so papers submit the form so now if you are new to this uh, uh, new to this iit so you have to register here first okay you have to register here first okay i was the student of iit bombay so already uh, already there uh, there uh, there is my uh, like uh, uh, i have i have put my ids many times in this uh, institute so if you new user you have to click on this and look you will get this interface okay enter email with which you want to register so if you if you want to register so you have to put a id so i will show you okay So this is 
my uh, second email ID. Okay, uh, for, because I am going to show you how to do that. Okay, so you can see this. You can see this. Okay, so when you will click, you will get this type of interface. Okay, so you have to put your date of birth. You have to put your date of birth. Any uh, any any nickname. If you want to, uh, if you want to any nick, uh, any nickname. Okay, this is uh, important. If you want to uh, select your date of birth, you can select from this. Okay, select from this, and then you will you will get this. Okay, you have, you can put any uh, any nickname. Okay, so any nickname that is answer. You have to click on this. What is your uh, what was your nickname? You can put that and then you have to click proceed. Okay. So suppose I am going to give my date of birth. Okay. Just okay. So suppose So I have put my uh, suppose uh, I have put my date of birth and any name like uh, Jit. So just you have to proceed. Okay, look. So enter email. Enter email with which you want to register. Okay. So you have to put your data. It is uh, it is shown that uh, your did not match. Uh, try again. So already this is the procedure just I want to mention that this is the procedure in this way you can register and during your registration you have to put some details your um, name your place etc you have to uh, check that okay so this is the basic procedure and now I will tell you how to uh, how to apply okay so when you will complete your registration process, actually you will get uh, ID. Uh, you have to put your mobile numbers and so on. You will get your uh, email uh, uh, password, and again you have to uh, you have to you have to change your password, and then your registration process will be complete. When your registration process will be uh, complete, then you have to uh, you have to put your email ID and password and then you have to log in so these are the few information these are the few information okay so look already uh, i had uh, already i have put all the details okay so a uh, few minutes ago because uh, this is a very personal information so i cannot show you my personal information so i had a uh, few minutes uh, ago uh, I have uh, like uh, given all the uh, all the inform required information for registration. So look, when you will complete your registration process, you will get this type of interface, and you can put your name and so on. You can put your name, you can address, you can put your uh, address address line. You can put like this. I have put it uh, very basic information okay so address look these are the few information okay city you have to put your city and so on so pin code and etc uh, these are the very basic information you, you will you have to put this you have to you have to birth category you have to give everything just uh, i am i am showing my uh, basic details these are the few information okay these are the few information uh, pin code you have to put your pin code okay you have to put your pin code whatever the pin code you can do that whatever the pin code you have to put that okay so you have to put that pin code you can change your uh, you have to give your mobile number and so on and then you have to uh, you have to give your date of birth and so on so it is useful that you have you will You have to do everything and then you have to you have to select this okay this is very important you have to select this teaching assistance you will get uh, you will get fellowship okay 12500 
you have to put your uh, like uh, bar category general sc st obc okay you have to put this category and so on you have to select uh, gender male and female and others okay you have to put this you have to save this information you have to save this information okay when you will save this inform information you will get this interface <laughs> academic qualification uh, details from 10th uh, from 10th standard you have to give your details you are a passing okay you, you have to put 10th uh, standard board you are a passing different subjects you have taken a uh, discipline it is a, it was general discipline standard it, uh, generally it, you have to give general discipline and then what was the mode mode it was correspondence regular co regular course or open university part time and so on distance you have to put according to that you have to put aggregate marks look whatever the marks you have you uh, you got in your 10th uh, standard so you have to put that percentage only suppose your percentage overall percentage uh, 80 85 or 8 uh, or 90 so you you, you should give uh, this okay don't don't worry about this hundred okay it means that uh, that percentage you are getting okay this is the things you does you can increase the mark uh, number so you can put also this so then 12th standard you have, you have you have to put your information then this bsc or become whatever the degree you have completed till now those who are from uh, mtech background engineering background they can apply and when you will complete all this information you will get this you have to again save the qualification details you have to save this and look <clears throat> if you have any qualification i told you get is the exam but if you have any other uh, uh, entrance national entrance qualification suppose you have qualified ugc net or csi net so you are eligible for this program get is not mandatory for this program if you have get so you have to give this okay get details and then if you if you have ugc grf or or only like uh, ugc net you, if you have uh, ugc net ls so you have to put all those information registration number and so on okay so you can you can select your year in which year you have qualified okay for gate details this is very important so you have to put reg gate registration number without paper code suppose the paper code is, uh, is xh so you should not uh, put that a uh, code xh okay so from that okay from that you can put the numbers suppose you have qualified uh, 2022 so you have to put uh, 22s and then from from the from uh, that digit you can put the number okay so then you you have to put here look so applicant must have a valid gate score you have to put the uh, gate score okay these are the few information you have to put here gate score and all india rank okay all india rank you have to put here all india rank and what was the paper code it is clearly mentioned xh look xh if you have get score on this paper and if you have others okay you can select that and if you have ugc grf ugc net csr grf csr net suppose you have qualified csr net ls okay so you, you all of you know that net has two types of uh, result ugc grf or ugc net net means ls uh, ls means it is a qualification for assistant professorship so when you will complete this you have to you have to save all this information okay and then if you have any work experience you have to put you have to put look you have to put uh, your organization it's coming iit jodhpur because i am pursuing my uh, phd from this institute and designation you can put what was your designation in which post you were working or you are working uh, in uh, in the, uh, now okay so from which date you started your work and if you are if you are a current student 
you can leave that you can put that zero zero okay and you have to uh, save the details and then you have to go to the home section so what is the home section you will get this when you will complete your form you have to upload documents okay i have shown them okay you have to upload documents when you will click on this you will get this uh, okay so you will get this i am showing the basic okay so look it will show that photo uploaded successfully so these are the few information you want to open your signature i am showing you you have to click on this you have to click on this okay so i am showing how to do that okay signature upload successfully okay signature is there and then if you if you have semester result or degree certificate so you can you can upload that in the similar way so this is the procedure and then again you have to go back to the home section and you have to go to the payment section okay so when you will complete your uh, details look please fill the qualification details please upload qualifying degree document so i have not uh, uh, I, I have not upload i have not uploaded any documents regarding this or qualification so that's why it is showing when you will when you will uh, upload all those documents you will get and then you will get the submit form option okay so it is showing so many uh, errors there are so many it is it is okay there are so many errors so please correct the above errors if you if you fill up the form in wrong way or wrongly so you will understand that there is something uh, wrong information in your application so please fill the qualification details valid get record are mandatory okay so this is very important thing that iit bombay authority has designed their application form in this way it is so amazing you will understand whether you are uh, filling the form in wrong way or not so this is the basic way if you if you if you uh, if you fill the form uh, with correct information you will not you will not see this type uh, type of interface you will get uh, submit option final submit okay so that is the main thing that i wanted to share with you this is the basic procedure okay and you will understand okay verification is successful means i have registered successfully application is still incomplete okay because i have not i have not uh, i have not uh, uploaded all the documents photo uploaded signature uploaded okay when you will upload qualifying documents so it will also show the green symbol uh, symbol okay so when it will show the green symbol it means that your uh, process is complete and after that you will get the payment option okay when your form is successfully uh, successfully uh, fill, uh, filled by you filled up by you then you will get the uh, payment option okay look then you will get the payment option this is the fundamental thing that i wanted to share with you in this way you can fill up the forms okay so i think if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your friends okay guys and one thing one more important information i am making uh, such uh, uh, i am making this video just for all of you if you think that i am making the useful video for you please at least hit the like button because uh, it will give me uh, motivation to make more and more more videos for you guys okay so that's all from my side so jai hind bande mataram stay connected with me stay connected with my youtube channel okay